Doc Martens. They're the basic necessity in any girl's closet. The best part about Doc Martens is that there's so many styles to choose from. You've got the boots, you've got the Oxfords, you've got the platforms, you've got the non-platforms, you've got the platform Oxfords. And that's exactly what I'm going to be styling for you today. Do I love them? Easy question. Yes. Have I broken them in yet? Even easier question. No. However, that doesn't stop them from being an essential staple in my closet as well as in my shoe collection. The model that I have are the 8053 quads, I believe that's what they're called. A bit about them, they have the five eyelets, is that what they're called? Instead of the three that I've seen with other models. They're like a matte black color and also these ones in particular have this like cushiony thing around the ankle. I don't really know how to describe it. That makes them almost a little bit more comfier than other models I've seen. Anyways, they're basically one of the most versatile shoes I have and I really do love them. So I thought that in this video I would show how I like to style them by styling them in six different ways and creating six different outfits based around these shoes. I wanted to style six different aesthetics, quote unquote, that fall into different categories to show just how versatile these shoes are. So yeah, that's the video that you are going to be watching. Let's get started. Okay, to start with, styling dogs can fall into two categories. To show leg or not to show leg. So basically, are you wearing a skirt slash shorts slash a dress with them or are you wearing pants? Because when you wear the Oxfords with stuff that shows your legs, such as shorts, skirts, dresses, whatever, the sock obviously shows. So whatever socks or tights you wear or whatever can actually be pretty important because they can kind of change up the whole look. So I have a couple different sock slash tights combos that I like to wear with these that can really kind of change up the whole look. Firstly, you've got the low sock. You're going for the exposed ankle kind of look. The second look you can go for is the white sock. The white sock is very preppy, very schoolgirl-esque. Thirdly, you can wear tights. Tights are obviously good for cooler weather and if you want the extra coverage. Fourthly, you can do black socks. Now, I find that mid-length black ankle socks can really change up an entire look because from far away, they can almost make the Oxfords look like boots, I find at least. The fifth and last way that I like to wear them is layering black socks on top of black tights. I think this looks really cool and it's a great way to layer. So now that we've gotten how to style socks out of the way, let's get into the outfits. Alright, starting off with outfit one. I wanted to go for the quote unquote soft girl aesthetic for this look because it is simple and basic in the sense that it is easy and cute to put together and requires minimal effort. For this look, I wanted it to be very summery and light, so I started off with this yellow sundress from Topshop and this pearl necklace which really emphasizes the girliness of the look. I wore this white cardigan from Verge Girl to complete and up the look a little bit as well. I love pairing the bold and dark Oxfords with something light and feminine. This contrast really creates an interesting juxtaposition, I can't say that, juxtaposition and almost adds an edgy feel to an otherwise really girly and basic outfit. To complete the look, I added white socks because I thought it would help to balance out the darkness of the platforms with the lightness of the rest of the outfit. Okay, for outfit two, we've got the preppy aesthetic. This preppy trend has been huge online on Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok these last few months, and honestly, the Oxfords work perfectly with this whole vibe in my opinion. So for that schoolgirl effect, I paired the platforms with the white socks again. I also thought that the white socks really helped me bring together the whole outfit because they match the white of the collar well. Uh, so pairing white and cream can be dangerous, but if you do it with a limited palette as such, it can sometimes work. I matched the cream knit sweater with the cream headband for that Blair Waldorf inspired look. Also, I'm re-watching Gossip Girl right now, and it's funny how growing up, I wanted to be Serena so badly, but now all I want to do is be Blair. Now for outfit number three. This is what I kind of call like the model off duty, business chic kind of look. You start off with a simple black tank top and a black skirt with hair pulled back and kind of like a messy bun or whatever. Uh, for this look, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of layering. So that's why I emphasize this as well in the bottom half of my look by layering black socks on top of the black tights. Now for the important part of this look, the oversized blazer that gets turned into a blazer dress, you do this by cinching the waist around the blazer and it basically ties the whole look together. I'm a huge fan of how chic this boss-like look is. It reminds me something like that Bella Hadid or Kaya Gerber would wear. Okay, we've got look number four. So for this look, I was really going for the grunge aesthetic. Now I know it's not perfect, so please forgive me. It's just my take on the look and the aesthetic. What really made me think of grunge was this skirt. 
It's so 90s and it really does make me think of just 90s grunge looks. See, I added this green cardigan to the look then, which I thought contrasted nicely with the brown skirt and it honestly just brought out some fun earthy tones that was really fun to play around with. To make the look a little bit edgier, I added these silver chain necklaces which I just love for layering. And finally, we've got the Oxfords. Wearing them with the black socks as such really makes them look even more chunkier and heavier than they are, which I really think helps to complete the whole look. Okay, for look number five, we've got Dark Academia. I don't think I've ever worn anything like this before. I honestly didn't even know what Dark Academia was until a few months ago. But however, it was definitely my favorite out of all the looks I put together. And in general, Dark Academia just seems like an aesthetic and style that I'm really interested in trying out and incorporating into more of my personal style in the future. I started with this black pleated skirt and a beige collared shirt, and as well the black tights with the Oxfords. But I just felt like something was missing. That's when I decided to layer this tight vest on top of the collared shirt and then just tuck it into the black skirt, which basically just completed the entire look. The Oxfords just really tie together the whole look in my opinion. While wearing this, I really feel like I should be studying at Cambridge or going off to Hogwarts or something. Last but not least, we have look number six, the skater aesthetic. So for this look, I switched out the skirts and dresses for baggier jeans. And these jeans fall over on top of the Oxfords. I really love the way that this looks. It almost makes the Oxfords look like full length Doc Martin boots. I had this knit sweater with this really interesting mesh detailing on the sleeves that I thought would look so cool layered under a baggy t-shirt. So yeah, that's exactly what I did. Also, isn't this shirt amazing? I love how baggy this whole look is. I don't know what it is about wearing clothing that just hides my entire body, but it just makes me feel so confident. So yeah, that was the video. Anyways, I hope you learned some different ways of how to style the Oxford Doc Martens. I really love these shoes, and I think they're the most versatile things ever. So thank you for watching. Bye.